Yo, I got a pretty beefy collection of um, these books right here. They're from Hard Hardcore Gaming 101. Um, it's like a website. It's been around for a long time. And these books are pretty much like the articles that they put there. And they, they've made a ton of books, and they're pretty awesome. They're in full color. Uh, Kurt Catalata does most of them. This one I just got. You got uh, Beat 'em Ups Volume 1. A lot of them, they don't even have a Volume 2 yet. Um, but you got old Bimmy and Jimmy. What is that? The Retro City Girls right there. Aliens vs. Predator Girl. Um, Art of Fighting and stuff. So I got a, this one right here. Some of them, they have different things on the back. Um, yeah, but this is Hardcore Gaming 101.net. And so they're full color. Now, a lot of them will have like 30 or 40 dang games in it. Oh, there's Ninja Turtles. Um, there's a lot of Ninja Turtles there. They'll have like 30 or 40 games in it, and so it's kind of, you know, <clears throat> tons and tons of shit. So they might only be like a page or two being devoted to each game. Uh, but they're pretty cool. Um, and it's like a couple, couple of mini them, honestly. So this one right here is the Persona or Shin Megami Tensei. And it's got most of them in there. I really enjoyed this. So I read this one all the way through. Uh, we got uh, Contra and other classics. An official and unauthorized. So you got a Contra Mystical Ninja. So this is this is a bunch of Koei games. Jackal was pretty good. Bayou Billy. Who? Bayou Shitty. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That game suck. NES Cult Classics. Some of this shit I don't even know. Or I might have played and forgot. Don't know the damn thing. You got Gremlins 2. Probably uh, the, the, both of those. Bat well... The, the first Batman and, the, and then Return of the Joker is pretty good. Um, I don't know anything about past that. It might be shit. Because I, I think there's a like Batman Robin on the Nintendo. <laughs> that would be very, very bad. Shoot 'em Ups Volume 2. So I might have a Volume 1 somewhere. So we got um, all that shit. You know what? If I've played I've played probably Twin Crow and I've probably played Zeva. But some of this stuff, I've, you know, it's so obscure you never heard. I heard of this shit before. Retro indie games. This one was a pretty good one. You got um. Damn it! What, I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna have a brain fart. That freaking game. I enjoyed the hell out of it though. Freaking excellent music. Toby Fox. I can tell you the guy who made it, but not even tell you the name of the game. It's, it's eluding me right now. This is, this is freaking great shit here. I get them all pretty much from Amazon. I don't know if they're still easily printed or available. I know he does the likes of cons. This is, these things are probably end up being rare, I would think. This is a thick one. Wrestling with Prixels. Hardcore Gaming 101. Oh, 40 years of digital mayhem. It's supposed to have every wrestling game. Of course, you know, it only needs to really have No Mercy in it. That's pretty cool right there. Hogan versus Hagger. And now they did. I don't know if they did a lot of these. These were supposed to be mini ones where they focused in on maybe like one or two series. I only have, I think, like one of these. So they might not have ended up doing very many of them. Um, freaking Bionic Commando. The original one in Nintendo is great. So is the one on Game Boy Color. And there was like a, a 360 one that was real good too. This is Konami Shooters, so that's even different from just other shooters. Gradius. I've never beat Gradius. One of those days I'm going to go through. Twin B is freaking great. So is Perry. This. Here we got um, Complete Famicom Disk System. So that must be every just every game. It probably has to have like, yeah, they, they'll have like seven or eight games a page it looks like to me. Um, a lot of times, you know, there's so much stuff that's on emulator, you get it, and it's been translated. You're like, is this game worth a damn? And no, the vast majority of um, Famicom games ain't worth it. The 200 best games of all time. And then, so they would, um, this is, I'll break through all of this. This is great shit, too. F-Zero-X. Hitman. Metal Gear. Mirror's Edge, you really think that's, well, no, that's, that game's pretty good. Last of Us. Um, that's a damn awesome one. That one, I love this one. Yeah. <clears throat> this shiny sheen, man. Shiny cover art. Looks freaking great. I see Gordon Freeman. 
Taito Arcade Classics Volume 2. Is that Ronstein? That's the only thing I know. Huh? Or Rastian? I don't even know how to damn pronounce it. Volgar the Viking was made off of that, and I played through Volgar the Viking. This is um, Castlevania. Uh, volume 1. You got Order of Ecclesia in there? This might be just be a Volume 1. Well, it says many more, so they're probably all in there. Freaking awesome. Shoot 'em ups, Volume 1. R type. That's another game I want to go through. They have a new R type on Steam that was like um, Kickstarter or something. I want to play through that one day. <clears throat> don't know how, don't know when. Arcade Classics, Sega Car Arcade Classics. Do I have, pay, do I have part two? I don't know. <clears throat> damn it, I forgot the guy, that damn dude. You know, they have freaking t-shirts on, like, a Sega damn official merch site. They'll have t-shirts for fucking shit like that. And I'm, Alex, Is that Alex a kid? And no, nothing for Virtue Fighter, but that's a different video, man. Be bitching about how they fuck over Virtue Fighter all the time. <clears throat> You got Arcade Classics Volume 1 with no Virtual Fighter in it. And I guess we're waiting for Volume 2. And this last big boy, this one took a... I read all the way through this. This one took a hell of a long time to read. Um, this classic adventure games. Um, those games these days are not worth playing, honestly. But they were pretty good back in the day. I played through Monkey Island on 360 not too long ago. It had hints to help you get through it. Otherwise, you needed books like this to be able to get it. But um, there's this Hardcore 101 um, stuff by Kirk Kakala is freaking awesome. So you can just go to this page and they'll um, give you links to um, buying these things. I don't know how long or how often they'll stay in stock. But the um, the one for the fighting games just came out. And that's what you're getting for Christmas, Jason. Merry Christmas.